Hello and welcome to another Yakuza 3 100% trophy guide video. In this video we're going to talk about chapter 6 sub stories and this is part 1 of that set of stories. So in this one we're going to cover anything for grandma's love, Mr. Try and Flee Me, Kiryu the Pickpocket, Eel in Theatre Square, and Non-Stop Stalkers. As always we're going to read from Cyric Z's guide from game FAQs, I'll link that in the description, definitely check that out. Very good descriptions of every sub story if you need it. Um, I'll be doing the visual representation of it and I will be putting timestamps if you need to look at a certain quest you can just skip towards that uh, and that'll be in the description. So without further ado, anything for grandma's love? You must complete the lasagna quest from chapter 5 missing lasagna the cat one <laughs> for this to appear so enter Supon Street and a punk will stop you asking you pr to pretend to work for him to impress his grandma agree to help him out when the grandma shows up select we try not to use the AC and then when she asks for a tour of the office say it's off limits due to an accident and when a loan shark shows up pay the hundred grand yen as a reward you'll get a sushi set and 110,000 yen back for a net profit of 10,000 yen and you'll get some experience for that which is fantastic Next on the list is Mr. Try and Flee Me. So you must have completed Mr. Try and Hit Me again for this one. And you have to go back to Shifuku uh, parking lot. And you'll see another guy talking to Mr. Try and Flee Me. Or Mr. Try and Hit Me. Uh, this is his brother, Mr. Try and Flee Me. So pay five grand and he'll start chasing you. It's basically a chase battle, but you're the one being chased. So all you have to do is keep ahead of him. The course is largely straight down Semrayu Avenue until it takes a hard left into the south end of the Champion District. Make sure you let off the R2 button before you hit someone. A minor slowdown due to reducing speed is much pr more preferable than colliding into someone. Even if the dude catches you, you can mash X to get away, but it does cost you stamina. Once you get a little ways into the champion district, he'll give up and you'll get 70,000 yen for your troubles. It's a nice, easy chase quest going on there. That's what we like to see. Next we've got Kiryu the Pickpocket. So for this one, you must complete last month's winner for this to appear. So that was the lottery quest in chapter 5. Uh, go near to Matsuya. Uh, go near the Matsuya southeast of Millennium Tower and a woman in a yellow jacket will collide with you. It's like in the corner. Uh, the, the sort of right hand bottom corner of Millennium Tower, that road. So she'll bump into you with a yellow jacket. She'll accuse you of taking her wallet. Go into your inventory and you'll find a strange wallet in there. Use it to give it back to her. But she'll remain acu accusatory. Punks will show up to fight you. Demolish them and you'll finish the sub story. So all you have to do is kick some punks butthole.
にしてやる Next one on the list is ill in Theatre Square, and ill is not a reference to being unwell, but it's the name of a dude. So you can, if you want to succeed on this one, I actually failed this one, but uh, if you want to succeed doing this one, save before you do it. Uh, it's oddly marked as a green dot on your map, and you have to complete water purifiers before it appears. Go to the east side of Theatre Square, in front of the theatre itself to find a bunch of mature ladies wearing happy coats with an actor's face on the back. Uh, the guy's name is Il Eugene. Kiryu has actually met him in a previous game. The lady you speak to will fill you in on the situation. You sign, uh, sign an autographs. She asks you to get one for her. The goal is to lightly tread your way through the gaggle of ladies. You have three chances to do this. You can make a wide berth around the ladies. And if you bump into anyone, you'll be tossed back to the beginning. The path is actually straight down the middle between the ladies, uh, three ladies in red, and the opening between the blue ladies in front. I suggest pitching the camera down so you're looking at your feet, and the light tap to the left stick to inch your way forward. Also, try not to move if other civilians are wandering in front of you. Once you reach the front, say, I've met this guy before. Some Yakuza jerks will show up, beat them up for 5,000 yen. So the next quest on the list is Non-Stop Stalkers. So a young woman is in front of Jewel, the club. Speak to her and she'll talk about thinking she's being stalked. A dude in a red jacket will soon appear. Follow him slowly. Keep a distance of about 50 feet. Judgment the same. <laughs> so just keep a bit of distance between you and the guy. After a short while, the man in red will talk to a guy in glasses. Follow the guy in glasses. You'll tail him a short way to a bald guy. Follow the bald guy and you'll meet back up with Emmy and everyone else involved with this. After all is said and done, you'll get 50,000 yen. And that will complete this video. So chapter one. Uh, chapter six, sorry. Video one, part one is done so thank you very much for watching take care and peace out
Oi. Uh-huh. <laughs> 